Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebraic problem and here we have x to the power of 4 plus 64 equals to 0 and we solve this problem for the values of x. So the very first step we are going to do is here first we rewrite this equation as because we have x to the power of 4 and we rewrite it as x square and its whole square plus we write this 4, uh, 64 as 8 square and its whole power and its whole equal to 0. So now in the next step, uh, here we use the nice uh, square identity and you know that if we have a plus b whole square, it is equals to a squared plus b squared plus 2 times of ab. So this is the our nice square identity and now we uh, we make the completing square of the above term. So, in order to uh, take the completing square of this term, we need uh, this term two times of AB. If you focus here, then you see that this is our A and this is our B. 8 over B and X square is over A. So, in order to make the completing square, we need uh, two times of AB. So here we have two times of A is X square and B is 8. So we need two times of uh, X square into 8. So that uh, in order to completing square, we add and subtract uh, two times of uh, X square into 8 in the left hand side of uh, this equation. So when we add this term on the uh, add or subtract this term on the left hand side of this equation then it will be written as x square and its whole square plus 8 square plus 2 times of x square into 8 and minus 2 times of x square into 8 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now uh, here you focus on these term and you see uh, there we have uh, x square plus 8 square plus 2 times of x square so it will be equ equals to this part so when we uh, complete the square of this term uh, it will becomes um, x square plus 8 and its whole square minus we multiply this 2 by 8 and we get 16 times of x square and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we need another uh, square identity and uh, we know about this identity uh, if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So uh, we use this identity uh, to the above term. So now first we uh, rewrite the above equation as uh, so we have uh, x square plus 8 and its whole square minus we write this 16 times of x square as 4x and its whole square equals to 0. So now this equation will become in this formula form so that here we use this formula and we get its output in this form. Uh, so we have a is x square plus 8 and b is 4x and again our a is x square plus 8 minus b is 4x and this whole equation equals to 0. So now uh, further we divide uh, this equation in two cases so that our first case is we take x square plus 8 plus 4x equals to 0 and the second case is we take x square plus 8 minus 4x equals to 0. So in the next step, uh, we uh, solve these two quadratic equations. Uh, so now first we uh, write this in standard form or we rearrange the terms and we write it as x square plus 4x plus 8 equals to 0. And in this case, we have x square minus 4x plus 8 equals to 0. So uh, now uh, we use the quadratic formula in order to solve these two quadratic equations. So first we write the coefficients for both of these equations and we have the coefficient of this term is a equals to 1, b equals to 4 and c equals to 8 and in this case we have a equals to 1, 
b equals to minus 4 and c equals to 8 and you know that uh, our quadratic formula will be uh, written as x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our uh, quadratic formula and now we uh, substitute uh, the values of a b and c uh, in this formula so now we substitute first these values here and we get its output in this form x equals to minus b and the value of b is 4 so it will becomes minus 4 plus minus square root of b square so our b is 4 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and this whole term divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1 uh, so we first simplify this equation and we get x equals to minus 4 plus minus we have a 4 square and 4 square is equal to 16 minus 4 times of 8 is 32 square root divided by 2 and now uh, in this case we have the value of x equals to minus 4 plus minus 16 minus 32 becomes minus 16 square root divided by 2 and in this case we have x equals to minus 4 plus minus uh, here we write this equation as square root of 16 and square root of minus 1 divided by 2 so here you remember one thing is that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota so we have x equals to minus 4 plus minus the square root of 16 is 4 and square root of minus 1 is iota divided by 2 so now we uh, separate uh, these uh, equations and we get x equals to minus 2 plus minus uh, 2 times of iota so these are the solution of the given equation uh, so uh, which we get from first case and now we move towards our second case and in this case we uh, substitute the values of these values in the quadratic formula then we get uh, its output in this way x equals to minus b so our b is minus 4 this minus times of minus becomes plus 4 and plus minus square root of uh, minus 4 square becomes 16 minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 8 and this whole divided by 2 times of a and over a is 1 so we get here x equals to 4 plus minus square root of 16 minus 32 divided by 2 and now we simplify the terms and we get x equals to 4 plus minus uh, minus 16 square root divided by 2 so we get our x equals to 4 plus minus so uh, square root of minus 16 becomes 4 iota divided by 2 and in this case we get x equals to 2 plus minus 2 iota so these are the other two roots of the given equation so these two roots are also complex roots and these are the four solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting and exciting videos thank you so much and bye bye